Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie, the game that I could not wait to put another week to play more of, so we're doing it early. I am... I am Spider, and I am joined by Public Opinion. Hello. I am joined by Wordsy. Hello. And I am joined by Fiona. Hi. And we're going to continue our journey into Gruntilda's lair. I'm going to try and do this right, because there's, like, a secret. If I press A at the right time. One, two, three. Ah, darn it. Well, we'll try next time. Hmm. Who has the Brentilda stuff written down? I believe that uh, Pio just put it in the Discord. Yes, if you just scroll back or search secret. <laughs> Uh, before we continue the game, though, I'm going to do something special. How special is it? Very special. We're going to go back home. Hey. Well. We tried. We tried. Sorry, Tootie. We're going to go take a nap. The largest give up. <laughs> We made it. We're home. This is Banjo and Kazooie's house. There's a picture of Tootie. There's a picture of themselves. There's a goldfish. There's a goldfish. There's a picture of a level that is not in the game. It's it. Uh, it's called fun. It's called Fungi Forest. They. It's a level that they reworked into uh, Donkey Kong 64. Huh. Cool. There's also a cuckoo clock. And what's the painting that looks like a beach? Oh, that's that's nothing. Don't worry about that. There's a bunch of books, and there's a picture of bottles. Why is bottle? Why do you have a picture of bottles here, Banjo? Because he's our best friend. He's a very good friend. <laughs> also, we found the secret moving picture. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's time for a secret. Oh, oh dear. This, this is a problem. Uh, It'll be fine. Oh, emulator. <laughs> well, I mean... The, it's fine. Uh, you can do the corners. Yeah, I can do the corners. Honestly, it's not that hard. Ah. We have a whole 90 seconds to do it. It's fine. I don't think this is... Oh, did, did they just... It's slightly there. Don't worry about it. It's fine. What is the flashing? <laughs> uh, that it's more there? Yeah, the there's... Flash. Usually, if I wasn't playing on an emulator, this would be a there. There would be a video of Banjo running around doing stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, and that makes a lot of sense as to why it would be yeah breaking in this way. All right, now all that's left to do is just find the correct. There we go. It's fine. See? Oh, okay. It snaps in. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh. We did it! We solved the puzzle. It was easy. <laughs> Go to the sand castle in Treasure Trove Cove and spell out the word bottles bonus one. Alright. Let's see what the bonus is. Is it death? It's a special bonus that everybody loves. Is it the sweet release of death? Oh, maybe. I don't think it is. It might be. I love bonuses. Listen, Bottles wouldn't do that to us. Bottles is our good friend. Bottles is our very good friend who loves us. <laughs> da, 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 da. 
Well, let's go try it out. We're on our way. We're going to be passing Treasure Trove Cove anyway. On our way to the next level. We might as well. Yeah. What's the worst thing? Get around this world faster. <laughs> I guess there's a talent trot, but it still feels like there should be a faster way to get around. The talent trot is pretty fast, honestly. Yeah, if I remember <coughs> the speedrun tech, it was kind of like... Just talent, talent trot, trot forever, jumping. basically. I think I... I more mean like an easier way to get between distant areas. Like warping? Oh. Like yes. fast travel. I mean, we'll get that eventually. Did we already solve that puzzle? Yes, we did. Good. Mm. Aren't we going to... Treasure Trove Cove, yeah. Down yeah. here. Gotta get in sand. <laughs> I... Um, I mentioned sand and now I'm unhappy with sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw Aladdin today. <laughs> oh, how was it? Oh man, <laughs> I I I never thought me like liking audio stuff so much would mean every time I watch a movie now I can hear auto tune if people are singing. <laughs> uh -huh. They they I did like Will Smith might as well be named Deep Blue because like his voice was Big Robot for so long. <laughs> Man, that's so that's a shame. The sandcastle is submerged again, but fortunately Leaky is here. Leaky just wants even more of our eggs. <laughs> what happened to the last bunch of eggs we gave you, Leaky? <laughs> Like you spend them on bills. Like you need more. Oh, yeah, they they dried out. No way. Hey, Yumi Sparkles, welcome back. Hello. Hey, welcome back. All right, buddy. We have uh, all we've missed so far was we solved the moving picture puzzle, which which wasn't moving or a picture. <laughs> yeah, emulator didn't. Bot I like that one. Bottles wants us to have a special bonus, so here we go. B. O. Yes. T. T. L. E. S. B. Oh. And oh, the build up. The build up is actually gonna kill me. What does it do in media? You <laughs> We're S a single letter behind every oh. time. <laughs> I need to know so much worse than I, I did. Oh, e <laughs> We did it. Ha ha ha. We got we got we got big head mode. Hell yeah. Oh wow. Yes. The the, the, fa the the favorite mode of anyone who has ev of who has ever made a 3D game in the 90s. Big head mode. I hmm. Can I put a big head mode in all of my D&D &D games? <laughs> Hello. Uh, Babs. What? <laughs> Hi Babs. Oh man, yeah! It's time to say new words again. Please no. Yeah. So the fun the fun thing about Big Head Mode is that it's constantly undulating. <laughs> oh no! Look at Banjo's oh. undulating head. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's... I'm guessing the normal head undulates as well, it's just less I... noticeable when it's smaller. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Constantly undulating is never a state I want to see. 
<laughs> well, too bad because we're going to have this head for the rest of the for the rest of the stream. Highly <laughs> gelatinous. <laughs> oh, beautiful. What a beautiful head. It's his nose is too long. I don't want it. Put my it favorite, back. My favorite tendency of streamers is if they miss killing an enemy, they just let the enemy live. Well, not this time. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something, Fiona? <laughs> Yes, I'm trying to tell you that you that you missed that crab. Cool. That crab deserved it, Liv. Well, tell that to the Haley that tried to kill it. Listen, <laughs> we don't need to go back there. <laughs> there we go. We are going to clam Kier's cove. That's just Vern! <laughs> you just spelled Vern! <laughs> <laughs> but before Clanker's we go... Clanker's Coven. Before we go to Clanker's Coven, we have very important business to attend to. Clanker's Coven? Are we, are we coming on to the fact that Clanker is part of Grunty's Coven? <laughs> it's Brintilda! We have more important, important juice to learn about Grunty. So someone start, someone get your typing fingers ready. Uh, mm. Juiced up, ready to go. Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. Reinforced that girdle. <laughs> She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Leg Chomper. <laughs> I enjoy it that they put the shaky, like, I know how this works, <laughs> and, like, most of it is set, and there's just a bit of it that changes every time, and the bit of it that changes every time is the one that's all shaky. What are you talking about? Oh, did, were they just the two secrets? Oh, right, yeah. No, there's, there's, there's three. My sister oh. sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful. <laughs> Oh no. I know there's something down here. Curious what the other possibilities besides reinforced girdle are <laughs> for what she wears. I don't remember all of them, but I think one of them is a flea circus. Gonna go on a limb and guess nothing is a is an option. <laughs> oh hey, a flea circus, a reinforced girdle, or massive bloomers. No. Oh. Not gonna do this right well, now. We have other things to attend to. Like massive bloomers. I failed to give them enough credit. <laughs> Just I. Got just the hint of memory that I think when I played this game, Massive Bloomers was the answer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lo, those many years ago. <laughs> Lo, those Massive Bloomers. See, the great thing about having options. a gigantic head is that you can be sure that it's above water at all times. Would, I would imagine it would be very hard to keep it up above water because of the heaviness of the head. <laughs> no, don't you, don't you see... It's it's so buoyant. You can see by how the undulation. God, it's just inflated. <laughs> I need. Mm, how do I defeat a head? <laughs> I like a, how none of us have a word for what it does that isn't undulate. That's all it. It fits it so well. That's all it does. I mean, it's kind of literally undulating. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's time to enter Clanker's Cavern. Reminds me, I figured quote from Daria, my head's too big, that's because it's so full of dreams. That's oh. because it's so full of absolutely... That's because it's so full of go. Welcome to the sewers. Gross. Everyone's got a sewer level. Not me, I'll never do it. 
<laughs> well, well, I can't. I don't remember you ever doing it. So. Yeah, oh. Moon Group's not going through a sewer. <laughs> no one's going through a sewer ever. Oh God, a monster! Yeah, I mean, you know the the hallmarks of you know the bad sewer level is it all looks the same. And you move slow, and it's poorly lit. But and this, it's usually know, just like a hallway. This has got a bunch of stuff, including clanker. It's got verticality. <laughs> I love it when a sewer level's tall. In that tiny. I, I don't because my the thing that I think of of tall sewer level is Blight Town. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. fine. We saved a Jinjo. Why were you behind the honey? You think folk? about it, Clanker's Cavern is just it's just Blight Town again. Listen, you can. St I, I did not see this water poisoning us. Listen. <laughs> yeah, that's later. I can't believe Clanker's Cavern is the Dark Souls of Banjo levels. There, we get a legit ass poison swamp later. I was more talking about Upper Blight Town than Lower Blight Town. I guess the yeah. depths are more of a swamp, or more of a sewer level. Yeah. It's probably not true, but you guys think, like, all the game developers got together and they were like, Oh, you know what? Let's just kind of standardize levels. All right, no, I think... Lava? I think I think one person did a popular thing, and then everyone else did a popular did that thing. Look, it's Clanker. Oh, Here's our I friend. Like His name is Clanker. He's a shark so thing, but he has a blowhole yeah. also. Don't worry about it. His eyes follow you. Oh, I don't like those eyes. <laughs> I do not like that. I remember as a child when I first got here i was like oh no run away it's terrifying it will kill it will see clanker himself didn't bother me too much it was the fact that you have to go underwater to help him i did mm -hmm. not want to do that but i swimming is terrifying when you can't instantly you can't infinitely swim yeah and that's in the... any video game i kind of when I was little, I just kind of skipped this level because 90% of it requires you to have Clanker above the surface, and I did not want to go below the surface long enough to get Clanker <laughs> did out you know, from under. I have that problem in video games. I've never... Oh, hey, Jasmine. Uh, I've never had that problem Hello. in real life when I regularly swam. I mean, do you usually go this far down in real life? I mean, not this far down, but I'd go to the bottom of, like, nine feet deep pools. When I would, when I was learning to dive, I went deep down, and I said, you know what? There's probably a shark that will devour me. I need to leave. Glass shark. That glass shark. <laughs> <laughs> Gloop. Uh, listen, there's a friendly there's a bubble friend fish down here. Oh. Yeah. His name's Gloop, and he wants to help you. There he is, and there's his bubble. I like how, you know, the levels have, like, characters are kind of just orthogonal to the whole Grunty thing. Like, Konga's just, as far as I could tell, just a dick for, you know, his own reasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes people just, just a... Just chill. Can't be me those bubbles. That's why I like Spyro's swimming because it, <laughs> it never. I could just do it forever. <laughs> all these bubble stuff, I could just blow bubbles all I want. Ginger. That, that was kind like in um. In Sonic Adventure 2, the there's a swimming level you have to do towards the end of the game, and it is difficult because of the breathing, and it was really funny to me. <laughs> I mean, there is an item that lets you breathe forever. 
<laughs> it, it, there is, but I, I, I was, I was watching somebody play, and they died because I failed to tell them something. Yeah. That level is utterly terrifying without it. I remember that stream. <laughs> that was a good stream. It was pretty, pretty, pretty funny. She was really angry at you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we have gotten Clanker back to the surface and have unlocked the rest of the level. To unlock the rest of the level, you must unlock the Clanker. Nearly everything you can do in this level is dependent on having Clanker with you. I like Clanker. I love yeah. him. He's a good boy. I like Clanker except the fleshy bits. <laughs> I, I could do without the fleshy bit. Ah, uh, it could be worse. Because it brings to question how much is the fleshy bits. All of it. Like a big, big banjo basically covers up that entire cutscene. <laughs> oh, poor Clanker. His teeth hurt. Let's go do some dentist work. Yeah, that sounds exactly like something we're qualified to do. See those gold teeth? Let's get them. Alright, Clanker. Here, <laughs> Here we go. Just, just hold that, just hold still, long enough for me to keep shooting eggs. Clanker drifts forward and backwards. Gold teeth not broken yet. I think you're, I think you need to, yeah, move eh? a little to the side. <coughs> hey. And we can just go on in. <laughs> to not hurt and get ourselves a mumbo token. Eyes will always follow you. They are always with you. Oh, there's too much flesh. <laughs> All right, he still has another Clank. sore tooth, though. Let's help him Some again. Kind of bio droid. It's not even like shaped flesh. It's just me. <laughs> It's just me. <laughs> Buy your new shirts now. It's just me. Hey. Is the shirt just me? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just a Lady Gaga meat shirt? <laughs> it's just me. You know, that shirt is... That that dress is preserved. They like, they like salted that meat into a jerky dress so that they could keep it in museums. Oh, good. There's oh. metal pipes in the meat. That's yeah. what I wanted. <laughs> Give me those meat pipes. Yeah. Get your meat pipes off me. <laughs> Why is Clanker? <laughs> Goddamn body her monstrosity. Listen, I have meat pipes, who cares? His name is Clanker, <laughs> what would you expect? It's the style at the time. Yeah, you know, back in the 90s, I would always have my meat pipes going. <laughs> He's also got these, like, little tentacles things. <laughs> that just want to destroy <laughs> you. So much of the screen is just wiggling. Metal tube that occasionally wears away to meat. You thought that Jabu Jabu was bad. <laughs> so much worse than Jabu Jabu. My favorite part is it, like oh, right. the metal rib cage. It looks like it's growing the meat. <laughs> Let's just take a moment. So just... I think, yeah, I think Clanker was a fully mechanical giant shark who then wished to become a real, you know, a real <laughs> flesh being and got, you know, got the wish like 30% granted. 30% granted is a very good sentence. <laughs> Do you think he's happier with that or with it never being granted? 
This is exactly yes. This is exactly what I'd point to if someone t started talking about me, punk. <laughs> oh. okay. Clanker is a little bit. I mean, like if you had the Guar aesthetics, but like cheerful. Just want to hold. Her. Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Quick, get that last ring. Uh. Dodge side tentacle. Side <laughs> oh, was that not the last one? No, it was. Nope. Oh boy. When somebody goes back through this vibe, I hope they understand what I meant about being a refrigerator. Is <laughs> 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 this a big rectangle? That's three dig that's three jiggies. Just a hundred percent chest. Clinker, Clinker is very friendly as a monster, but still a monster. <laughs> hmm. In recent months, all of the monsters I have been introduced to have been pretty nice. Thanks, monsters. Thanks, monsters. Monsters are good. It's Frankenstein teen. <laughs> Now we can explore these little alcoves in Clanker's system. So do you think these tentacles are like part of Clanker or are they parasites or what? I think they must be a, like a, a parasite of some kind. Something that, you know, it's just eating the the garbage. I just, I just I'm surprised have... at the. Like, I feel like you'd expect to see more machinery inside Clanker. It's <sighs> all his machinery is really compact. <laughs> They're I part of his gut have... biome. Ah, of course. The worst idea. Mm -hmm. What if it's only the metal bits that are Clanker and every bit of meat is a parasite. Mm, it could be. Oh. Great. I'd love to think about that. Thank you. It's making me think of uh, Resident Evil 2 you know, towards the end with I forget you know, the, the G. Yeah. When he just becomes a growing mass that puts the meat all over everything. <laughs> no. Wait, wait. No. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you, Yumi, for the whip. I I did not know there were cold matches. Okay, so pause. <laughs> Banjo's got him. I just I need to Okay, so you you didn't mean like a a Johnny Appleseed type who does meat instead of apple seeds. <laughs> well, it's you know just the the meat grows over everything. <laughs> what if Johnny Appleseed was a young monstrosity? It's me! Tell me meat slime! I just wanted to put meat everywhere! Nemi, I enjoy your implication with Johnny Apple meat that this meat is still, like, it's the seeds of apples. That's what he's known for. So now oh he's known for the meat of apples. What if you bit into the apple and it was just full of, like, ground beef? <laughs> Okay, I'm going back to playing the game now. <laughs> got it! You got it! Oh. I'm going to draw Johnny Apple meat. <laughs> yes! Apple seeds, Nemi! <laughs> so it should really just be Johnny meat. 
Johnny Meat. That's me. It's me, Johnny Meat. I'm here playing you spreading apple meat. John E. Meat. The E is for extra. <laughs> Well, I. <laughs> well, I, okay, I, I, I know what the uh, name of this video is gonna be. Oh God, I just, I want like a, somebody to take his coat and be like Mr. Meat. <sighs> you know, you could just change your last name to be Meat in our world. I could. <laughs> Mr. E. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I do these. Yeah. Go to Subway and they ask if you want the the extra extra meat and you just slide your driver's license across. So this <laughs> is Clanker's blowhole. There's a, there's a, there's a screw in it. Excuse me? This that was Clanker's blowhole. It has a screw in it. Did I stutter? No, I did it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> this is good. Jonathan Entertainment Meat. Oh, that's my father. We're already we're already halfway Please, done with the level, Mr. everybody. Me, oh. Five jiggies. Five meaty jiggly jiggies. No, why are they jiggly? <laughs> I don't like this. So when the screw's not in the blowhole, you can just jump on in. I think we're all. Oh, huh. his eyes. Oh, look, the witch switch. Witch switch. Oh, now here's some machinery. Makes it makes Grunty's eyes pop. Oh, wow, that machinery is. Oh, like, oh I made a mistake. Work. I made a mistake. Okay, let's do that again. Oh. How to get back in that blowhole? That machinery is way more horrific than these me than these fleshy bits are. <laughs> Gertrude, no. Gertrude, yes. No, no. <laughs> Dilate that blowhole. Oh, uh, and now it's there forever. We can't take it out. Say that's it. <laughs> All right, blowhole. <laughs> Dilate. Dilate for me, blowhole. Thank you. <laughs> no. Ow. Ow. Yeah, so Clint is just in a time where, like, Every now and then, he just starts choking. Uh, Oop. Oh, wait, wait, what? I don't, wait, I don't actually understand this section. Why does, well, no, I, I, I get it, but I don't see how it works. Ah, shit! <laughs> oh, I forgot that when you die, your note score gets reset, which means I have to get all the notes over again. Pretty sure oh, you're yeah. supposed to get the power up. No, not that one. That one's normal. Oh no, we lost all the notes. That's a f we have no notes. It's fine. It's fine. It's Listen, fine. I just I duly noted, but like we're still out of them. Well, you know. <laughs> Listen. Real Dark Souls starts here. <laughs> it's just Gotta... like Dark Souls. Well. That would be nice if we just, like, go get our honey stain. 
<laughs> oh, you also have to get all the Jinjos again. But it's okay. Uh, Jin Jinjos again is rough. Well, I mean, at least you're going to be do walking all over anyway for the notes. Yeah, it's fine. Jinjos again is rough. Come to me, note. Yeah, Nemi, I was talking about this last stream. The the note score is a choice. It it's is bad. a choice. That's and I don't choice. I don't know why it exists. The grill chompers. Grill chompers. Huh. Okay, but he does stay up. Yes. Fortunately, not everything is... Because our Jiggy... Um, our yeah. Jiggy progress is saved, and him being up is related to the... Precisely. Gloop, give right. me... Give me a bubble, Gloop. Gloop. Okay. Can any gloop. other collectathon era do that thing? The the score thing? No, I, not that I know of. It they definitely fix it in in Banjo Tooie. Okay. That's... I was gonna send a, a letter to Greg Malus and ask him, "Hey, so when you were designing this, <laughs> what up?" What the fuck? <laughs> why? Why why would you do that? Mr. I'm the first collectathon. What the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Malus, your your brother Steve, when he was drawing all the bears and the birds and stuff, he didn't say don't. <laughs> when when your programmers was like, why am I programming this and you didn't stop? <laughs> I mean <laughs> We're still kind of in the the era when you would rent video games. True. I I routinely every every week and would go to Blockbuster and rent a video game. <laughs> I mean to this day you still kinda get instances where things are made to take longer just to no. just increase the hours. Mm. You just say Ubisoft. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dang Ubisoft. Uh, uh, I, hmm. hmm. <laughs> Why was Blockbuster called Blockbuster? Cause like movies. Cause they did movies. Okay, I for a second I thought, was it because of Mario? That seems very specific, Blockbuster. <laughs> That's weird. Why would you do that? Ow. Have a nice uh, night. Good night, Gertrude. Gertrude. Good night. Uh, does the, the talent. The, the whatever super jump doesn't seem like water. Oh, I have to shoot the. Good night. It's a cool guy. I oh, do sure. have to shoot his teeth again. Oh no! Did they? Did he put him back? He put him back. <sighs> Planker, you when your teeth fall down, you'll blow him back into place. Well, I always assumed the term blockbuster had something to do with city blocks and like having lines going around the block. Yeah, because like everybody's everybody's pounding the ground to get into your movie and it's busting. Well, I've I've looked it up and apparently the consensus on the etymology is it refers to it's coming from uh, uh, bombs at the time coming out capable of destroying a city block. Oh, interesting. Oh, the bomb would bust the block. So kind of similar to why the how the bikini got named. The, um. I, Wait, I, yeah. is the bikini named for bikini atoll? 
Yeah. What? Uh, at least that's the explanation I've always heard. Okay. Sure. What? Fine. It was, like there was a swimsuit with some high impact, much like that of an atom bomb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess. I mean, I guess like a really hot lady is called a bombshell. That just people just really loved bombs back then, huh? Welcome to the post nuclear age. I guess it was us trying to like rationalize. Post nuclear places are pretty be arranged to put you through your paces. Like we were trying to like rationalize the, the, the fact that we have weapons that could wipe humanity off the face of the earth so we were just kind of making jokes about it banjo kazooie everybody <laughs> <laughs> all right how many notes do i have right now 58 that means there's 10 that i hadn't gotten yet and i think those are the ones that are inside the right i remember You in there? Yes. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, well, I guess... Okay, gotta be very careful this time. What? People, on the people watching the stream couldn't tell you that, but for those of us... For those of us commentating, that was perfectly lined up to when the blowhole popped. <laughs> uh... Well, you've successfully navigated the blades. We did successfully navigate the blades. Stay away no. from now. Todd Howard can tell me to stop downloading it. It's not gonna happen, Todd. <laughs> I had not even heard heard of this mobile game until E3. Oh, this one's gonna be a little bit... I heard about it until last E3. This one's gonna be a little bit difficulter to navigate. Oh, oh dear. Boy. Fortunately, a little bit. there's a molehill here. <laughs> Teach me the Wonder Wing power. He's laughing now. I... Nemi, what did I do? Nemi, what did I make... What did I do, Nemi? Well, looks like it's time that you can third. It makes Banjo invulnerable. What about Kazooie? Kazooie oh, fucking gets murdered. Kazooie, no! Kazooie is the one who is the invulnerable one. Kazooie is always invincible. Honestly, Banjo's in danger right now because his head's sticking out. Banjo, really, you don't want to stick your neck out like that. Oh, Banjo, no. Oh, protect your neck, Banjo. Alright. You've just passed your best note score. Excellent. But uh, yeah, with the power of gold feathers, Kazooie's wings are impenetrable. But his neck Kazooie's is... Kazooie's wings are always impenetrable, and we just pay her in gold feathers. Yeah, she just doesn't feel like it, usually. <laughs> Can't be bothered. Kazooie is the ideal of personhood. <laughs> Banjo. Banjo, get Kazooie feathers. Kazooie... Kazooie is the incarnation of fuck you, pay me. <laughs> Kazooie would not work for exposure. <laughs> Please don't work for exposure, y'all. Do things for money. Public service announcement. Don't work for exposure. It devalues both your work and the work of others. <laughs> sure. Hey, let me turn this desk backwards and I'm just, I'm just gonna pause the game for a second so we can just tell everybody don't work for exposure. Yeah. <laughs> this is PSA from the from the spider stream crew. Don't do it. You can trust us. Thank you for listening. We have a lot of fun here. Ah, here's the notes that we had collected last time, but didn't collect this time. 
Yep. All right, so that leaves 26. Yeah. What could they be? We're very close to finishing this level. And there's still like three more jiggies? Let's let's find them. Uh, one of them, we've still got two gingers. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm. There's one. Speak uh, of the devil. Blue Jinjo, the best Jinjo. <laughs> that Jinjo is worth at least three Jinjos. So we've got all of them, huh? Yeah. Well, so you're just required to have seven Jinjos. <laughs> worth got a Jinjo. Seven Jinjos worth of. That's gotta be one Uber Jinjo. <laughs> Show, we have seven of them. Seven. Listen, I, I might know a guy who can get you uh, one really, really good gin show for a uh, price of seven gin show. One gin show to rule them all. They say that all gin shows are created equal. But you look at the blue gin show and you look at the orange gin show and you can see that's not true. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> you, I'd, have to, I'd have to look up the math promo. <laughs> God. More notes. Yeah, we reached the point of collectathon where we've done the interesting stuff in the level, so now we just need to give it. Oh no. To... No, there's still some interesting stuff to do. I just need to get this stuff out of the way because we're about to get more stuff. I try to do it so that we get like a good balance of the interesting stuff and the just kind of <laughs> collecty stuff. Contilda knows she's got a 33 chance at best, at best, Jinjo. Oh. See that three way at Banjo's house? Got a 33 and a third chance winning, but I got a 66 and two third chance winning. Because even Tui knows she can't beat me. And she's not even here. She's not even gonna try. So, Matilda, you take your 33 and a third chance. And <laughs> you'll get an eight and one third chance winning. <laughs> The numbers don't lie. <laughs> and they spell disaster. Listen, you go one on one with a mascot platformer, and you got a 50 50 shot. But Banjo's got a bird in a backpack, and he ain't normal. <laughs> He's got an undulating head. <laughs> Seven days of the week. Eight days of the week. I'm sorry, I forgot a day. <laughs> <laughs> Big bad banjo daddy. <laughs> when you said when you said the words banjo daddy, my eyes just expanded out of feet. <laughs> when you oh. said banjo daddy, all I heard was da -da 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 -da. What could be behind this glowing <laughs> this glowing pathway? Banjo. Oh I yeah. I, oh I, no. I, I, you miss snippet mutants. Wait, the, on, the only wrestling reference you know. So you don't know the the legal move. It involves putting a bird in your backpack. Watch out! The snippet mutants are here. Oh no! Not the snippet mutants. The snutants. The snutants. Correct. These poor mutants. Okay. And bird <laughs> oh, really snippets. Oh, okay, so they're just, despite the. Uh... So that's supposed. Are we just non-lethally smashing them to pieces, or was there no. one off-screen who just went, "Well"? What a good question. Words. It's a question that 
will never be answered, but but will be asked often. Those were the dying words. <laughs> Maybe everyone's got extra lives. Banjo, in this <laughs> Banjo said request gotten Pache after. Ah, uh, yes, this, that was the the white boy for the snippet. He just dipped a kazooie feather in its goo. <laughs> To bring back to bottles. <laughs> okay. There's a couple more notes and then one Jinjo left. We just need to find them. I. Okay. I think Rare would make a really cool game where you where you don't. It's not just a platformer, but like every character in the game and everything that talks essentially has extra lives and you play as like the extra life attendant essentially uh-huh so like you're just kind of, you're helping manage people's uh you know return from uh, i got i got i got bopped by the hero I need to get back i mean give me an extra life okay I mean, the... have you have you wordsy have you ever played conquer's bad fur day i have because what you just described is extremely similar to Greg the Grim Reaper. Yes, I, 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 I realize that, but I would, I, I think Rare would do an interesting thing with it. And I think I'm thinking of those eyeballs that, like, jump onto other things and can make them come alive that we talked about last time. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So, like... <laughs> oh, hmm. there's a hole there. That's what we get. I just think it'd be an interesting idea to see, like, a game where all the things you fight have extra lives and, you know, it, it's part of the game. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, we found all the notes. And the gem jar. We can get out of here. You can never get out of here. Bye, Clanker. It was very nice, very nice to help you. Please never talk to me again. Aww. You okay. Got all the knots and jiggles. <laughs> okay, Clanker's cool. Clanker's Clanker? okay. Yeah. Just Listen. nothing else here is good. I, I kind of love, for, for whatever reason, I always really kind of dug the uh, abandoned industrial hellscape aesthetic. Mm -hmm. So That's it's cool. cool. It's oh, rusted metal and. Mutants was right up my alley. <laughs> Clinker hit the dab. I'm gonna dab just for the stream. Uh, one more time. Uh, all right. Good, good dabs, Wordsy. <laughs> Did I dab? You'll never know. Oh, uh, please. I can go look. <laughs> I need verification on this dab. <laughs> that. Oh my god. Tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. Is that bird dabbing? I hope so. <laughs> there is a very loud bird I... hmm. Say goodbye to Clanker's Cavern, everybody. I think the measure of a person's evil or good is based on if they dab. <laughs> Which direction? <laughs> Cause you see, I think both Banjo and Kazooie dab. Uh huh. They just dab different. And that's fine. That that's that's fine. I and Mumbo definitely has dabbed canonically. Thank you, Babs. <laughs> but <laughs> I like do 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 the uh, do the snippers dab. Do, uh, yeah. Like can, physically. I don't know, because I don't think bottle stabs. Bottle oh, stabs, not bad. <laughs> we should go press Grunty's eyes. But could bottles floss? Ooh. I don't think bottles' arms are long enough to floss. I'm gonna floss real quick, also. Because <laughs> arms aren't long enough to box with God or floss. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> Bottles is legally forbidden from dabbing. <laughs> he tried to dab once he fucking died. Oh dear. Oh boy. 
All right, I am going to stop recording for a second and start recording a new video. So say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon. Please spread meat everywhere. We'll never be back.